on today's Rotax Tech Tip, inspecting and replacing a 912i and 915i series fuel pump assembly. An alert service bulletin has recently been released mandating the inspection and if necessary replacement of fuel pump assemblies for fuel injected 912i and 915i A series aircraft engines. Not all fuel pump assemblies are affected. Only fuel pump assemblies with serial numbers within the range listed in section 1.1 of the bulletin require inspection. Also listed are engine serial numbers delivered with accessory fuel pump assemblies with serial numbers listed in criterion B. Fuel pump assemblies with serial numbers above or below the range listed are not affected. Secure the aircraft against unintentional operation and connect the battery to a charger. The engine doesn't need to be running for this test, but the fuel pumps will be powered on for an extended period. Remove the fuel pump assembly cover. The location of the fuel pump assembly can vary by aircraft type. Consult the aircraft's OEM for aircraft-specific maintenance information. Clean and dry the fuel outlet and electrical connector end of both fuel pumps. This is the area that requires detailed inspection for possible fuel leakage. Lightly dust the fuel pump ends in powdered talcum. I'm using baby powder, which is essentially scented talcum powder. Do not remove the fuel pump power connectors while using the talcum powder to avoid getting the powder into the connector or fuel pump. With the inspection area prepared, turn the fuel valve on and power on both main and aux fuel pumps. Verify that any indicated fuel pressure and fuel flow are within acceptable limits. Keep both fuel pumps on for 60 minutes, followed by another 60 minutes with only the main pump on. Visually inspect the fuel pumps for any indication of fuel leakage throughout the two-hour test period. The dusting of talcum powder will absorb any leaking fuel, helping with the detection of even minor leaks. If any indication of fuel leakage is found during this two-hour test, the fuel pump assembly must be replaced before the next flight. If no leaks are detected, no further action is required. Clean up and reattach the fuel pump assembly cover. Perform an engine test run and make a log entry stating compliance with the ASB and return the aircraft to service. In this particular fuel pump assembly, I found no leaks. Now it just smells like a freshly changed diaper. Next, a quick run through of a fuel pump assembly replacement. If the visual inspection shows any leakage, remove and replace the fuel pump assembly, following instructions in the aircraft maintenance manual. Restore the aircraft to operating configuration and perform an engine test run. Make a log entry stating compliance with the ASB and return the aircraft to service. Be sure to properly dispose of any excess fuel or cleaning agents. The testing of fuel pump assemblies must be performed on an aircraft or in a suitably built testing rig that simulates a working fuel system. Aircraft must have affected fuel pump assemblies inspected and, if necessary, replaced before the next flight. Affected fuel pump assemblies not yet installed must be properly inspected and or exchanged before installation. For more details on compliance, see section 1.5. Engine operators and maintenance manuals can be downloaded from flyrotax.com by clicking on Services, then Technical Documentation, and selecting Engine Type and Document Type. Thanks for watching this tech tip. You can find more videos like this on the official Rotax Aircraft Engines YouTube channel, Fly Rotax. Bye.